Good day everybody and welcome to another PHP Runner tutorial. Today I will introduce REST API only available in PHP Runner version 10.4. You need to visit xlinesoft.com to obtain this state of the art copy of the software. So what is REST API and why is everyone so excited about it? Up to now I explained API, short for Application Program Interface, in previous tutorials, for example the Database API and the Dialog API etc. REST is short for Representational State Transfer and is also an API. Up to now, before version 10.4, the source of the data in your application was limited to only a database. It is now possible to get information into your project that is not stored in your database. Many companies and organizations make their data available for you to access. A 5-day weather forecast from a weather server is an excellent example of such service. Sometimes you need to pay for the information, but many free services are also available. I will leave a link in the description to a Twitter post from Sergi regarding free APIs. In this example, I will be using a free API from Music Match. I already registered and am now signing on to the developer console. At this point, it is important to understand the API, and I do so by reading the documentation. The basic construction of REST consists of an endpoint and a resource. Endpoint, also known as the base URI or URL, is what you get when you sign up or register for the service. In the case of Music Match, they also supply you with an API key during the sign-up process. The resource is the information you would like to obtain or extract, also known as API methods. In short, I want to be able to search for a music artist. Then I want to see the artist's music albums. After that, I want to have a list of songs within a selected album. After carefully reading the documentation, I will need artist.search, artist.album.get, and albums.tracks.get. I now click on artist.search to carefully examine the parameters needed for this resource. Note that I would need authentication, but this is not a problem as I already have an API key. I look at the example provided and finally have a glance at the JSON response. There is no need to break your head on the JSON response as PHP Runner makes it very easy for us to understand, as you will see in a moment. It is worth mentioning at this point that each response will have a status code. You don't have to do this, but I created a database table representing the status codes. As you can see, 200 indicates that the request was successful. I now open PHP Runner version 10.4 and create a new project. Connect to the database as I do have one table with the status codes. In version 10.4 we have a create rest option, so I click on it. Music Match supplied me with an API key, so I select the API key option. I am now creating the endpoint as I explained earlier. I choose a name that will identify the endpoint. And supply the base URL. The standard API method is mostly going to be HTTP. I now supply the API key I received during the sign-up process. Always keep this a secret and that is why I am blurring it out right now. 
the API location and I got this from the documentation. And in this case, it needs to be in the URL. The URL parameter name is also described in the API documentation. And in this case, it must be API key. Click OK. You will now notice the newly created endpoint appears here on the left. I still have to create a resource and this is what this add rest view pop-up is waiting for me to do. The first I would like to create is search artist, so I name it accordingly. The connection or endpoint I will leave as is and click OK. The output is going to be a listing page, so I leave it on list. Single, delete, insert and update is beyond the scope of this tutorial. We will look at them in future tutorials. Following the instructions in the documentation, I will leave the HTTP method on get. I'm busy building a search artist resource, so I copy the example from the API documentation and paste it here in the resource field. Note how PHP Runner construct the request URL. It's now time to run the request. The first thing I look for is the status code. And as we have seen before, code 200 indicates a successful response. I already investigated what I would need from this response, which is status code, artist ID and artist name. Status code is not compulsory. I just decided to have it in the output so I can see the status in case something is wrong. So let's select the fields. Click on status code, artist ID and artist name. You will notice how the fields you selected appear under the field list. There is one catch though. This resource requests for artist prodigy every time. But we want to be able to search for other artists too. This is where the insert variable button comes in handy. It is essential to have all the fields first before you use this button. Click on the insert variable button. We want to achieve a search, so click on search. Select search.artist underscore name. You will notice that a placeholder was appended to the current URL. Our job is to put it in the right place. Ctrl X on your keyboard will cut the string and I replace Prodigy with it. If you run the request now, a pop-up will ask for an artist you would like to search for. I will search for Adele and click OK. I verify the data, the status code is 200 and I can see the artist name. So it's working as expected. Click next. I only need a listing page and artist ID will be the key. Click next. Under the search I only need to be able to search on the artist name. Click on search and filter settings. Click always on search panel. I remove other search options and very important, select hide data until search. Click OK. I'm also not going to perform any imports, so I disable import. Straight to the page designer, I edit the status code field, edit as, and select lookup wizard. 
I now link my table with the status codes as follows. Once happy, click OK. OK, so that's it for the search resource. Let's build the project and upload it. Many APIs will only work from a real online domain. So I upload the project to a real domain. Let's perform a search on Adele. Like expected, I receive the artist ID and artist name. Let's do a few more. The next step is to get the artist albums. That require a one-to-many or child table setup, and I will cover this in a future tutorial. Hopefully this was helping somebody. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this tutorial, please share this tutorial, remember to subscribe, and above all, please stay safe. Till next time.